Derek Lunsford is your 2023 Mr. Olympia champion. He took a lot of heat. He took a lot of criticism after he won that title. Everybody does. Even Phil Heath. I remember back in the day. He won the title. Oh, he is no Ronnie King Coleman. Things of that nature. I am sure as time goes on, we will all appreciate the, you know, the good points that Derek Lunsford brings to the bodybuilding stage. And one, of course, in particular, is his back development. One of the best backs in the history of bodybuilding? That's a bold statement. Today, we are going to take a look at Derek Lunsford and his back development. His mandatory shots, the rear double, the rear lat, things of that nature. We're going to take a look at him in comparison with some of the best backs in the history of bodybuilding. Namely, the big three. I'm sure you guys are thinking. Dorian Yates, Ronnie King Coleman, Phil Heath. We'll get to them. We'll get to them for sure. There's also, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. His back, not bad at all. And I understand, guys. He was training in the 60s, 70s, things of that nature. They obviously, they're not going to look like they look now. Had Arnold be, uh, been competing nowadays, he would have had the striated glutes, the things of that nature. But for his time, he had an excellent back. But realistically, if he had a time machine, things of that nature, yes, of course, Arnold and anybody that competed up until the 90s, or maybe even further, would not uh, be able to compare in conditioning alone. Nice Christmas tree, though. If Derek Lunsford is going to lose to a guy in some of these back shots, it's going to be a more modern-day competitor, like your Phil Heath. But this is just a sample of what we are going to see. We are definitely skipping ahead a little bit. And furthermore, this is not Phil Heath in his prime, I believe, a couple of years before this, or even one year before this. This is 2018. He was a lot better. There is a lot of guys we could compare Derek to. You could throw on Flex Wheeler. His rear double by, awesome, stuff of legend. But you have to face reality of this. What was Flex Wheeler, guys? 220 back in uh, 2000, and, or 1993, rather. I apologize, get a little ahead of myself. What is Derek Lunsford? Like 240 pounds? I don't know, maybe even more, maybe slightly less, probably more. And he is much shorter. So, I mean, oh, here's Derek in the finals. Probably even better. Probably even better. I mean, it's not even a comparison. And I will say, to be fair to uh, Flex Wheeler, the, the pitcher kind of makes him look a little bit leaner than he really was, I'm sure. And I don't mean condition-wise. If anything, if the pitchers were clearer, probably would show us that Flex Wheeler was quite conditioned in 1993. Not as peeled as Derek Lunsford, mind you. I just mean that, you know, these, pitch these older pitchers can make you look more narrow. Let us go back even further in the time in the annals of bodybuilding. Can one of these guys from the 80s, babies please, touch Derek Lunsford? To be honest with you, I know Samir Benu has quite a following, but there is just no way. This pitcher, I mean, this is the best case Ontario, or best case scenario, for uh, for Samir Benu, here's a more real realistic approach to this comparison. I mean, the guy was less than 200 pounds. He was the last champion. I'm sure somebody might argue that point, but look into it. He was the last Olympia champion under 200 pounds to win the title. And like I said, guys, Derek, much heavier than that. To be fair, this is a back video. And Samir Benu, one of the best ever in the Christmas tree, as Louis Marco would have it. Christmas trees, baby, please. Prapa! And of course he defeats Derek Lunsford in that aspect. He also defeats everybody else. So Derek, no shame in losing to the Christmas tree of Samir Benu. Any other shot. I mean, the rear lat, never the most special pose, I don't think, for Samir. More the, the rear double was his money pose. So Derek, he makes it through the little asteroid belt, unscathed, defeating all before him. Now we get into some real competition, guys. Dorian Yates, 1993. Mass monster era has begun, but as we all know, 
It was more than just mass that Doreen Yates brought to the stage to really change the game. It was raw conditioning. And as we look at these two specimens, these two Olympia champions side by side, you can see that Dorian, he is going to need that ripped conditioning to defeat a guy like Derek Lunsford. Derek is unbelievable. And again, if you check the weights of these two dudes, Dorian's what? 250 here? At the, at the max, 255, things of that nature. At almost six feet tall, Derek's got to be close to that weight. But he is definitely a lot shorter. And you can see the V-taper, the, the lat meat hanging off of Derek Lunsford. And very impressive in the lower half. Like I mentioned earlier, though, 93. Pitchers kind of distort the size of these guys, realistically. But that is just a standing relaxed... Let's see how these guys fare in the poses, namely the first of the two, the rear double. And I'm going to be honest here, probably upset some of you Dorianites, but Derek Lunsford is as wide as a house. Lower half conditioning looks like from the pitchers that he is defeating Dorian. Dorian's back might be the only saving grace for him here. Christmas tree, very hard. It looks hard to the touch. Definitely looks hard to the touch. 93. I wish the photos were better. Let's turn on the lights. This is 94. Much better footage. He actually looks bigger. Big. Dorian Yates, but not as conditioned. And anybody that knows anything would, would tell you. You can't really go by 94. The conditioning, not the best. Here's 95. Supposedly he looked conditioned. 95. Glutes look pretty soft. Not even the same species. Not, you know what I'm saying? He was saying Brandon Curry was so many months out or weeks out. So it looks like the other way around here in a comparison with Derek Lunsford, I have to tell you. Of course, Derek and Brandon, two different creatures too. So rear double by, I have to say, Derek Lunsford looks pretty good against one of the best backs of all time. The rear lat, kind of a downer. For 93, and 93 I would probably say was Dorian's most conditioned year, but the footage, it sucks. Pardon my language. Here's 95, and notably a little bit softer in the glutes, I would suggest. But a big old back, look at that great big old British back. Big traps to boot. Definitely an argument that says... Dorian Yates is a, a rear lat spread anyway. I like these black and white ones from 95. His rear lat spread is better than Derek's, but as a whole, and we're judging the whole shot here. I know I said back, but yeah, we're going to go with back poses. Because Derek's lower half is maybe his best feature here. And he is defeating Dorian in that aspect. But kudos to Dorian. And you Dorianites, hold your head up high here. This rear lat spread could compete with anybody's. Anybody's. I can, I can hear you Colemanites now. But what about Ronnie Coleman, Marks Max Muscle? Well, he is a particularly big lad. And speaking of the king, you know what? I think we're, we might just as well save the best for the last. Let's look at the doctor, or as you guys like to call him, the gift, Phil Heath. And this is a much better version then we first seen 2018. This is actually just one year prior, 2017. In my opinion, he uh, he looked his best, at least in terms of the rear lat spread. Now, unlike the comparison with Dorian Yates, Phil Heath really is a match for the lower half conditioning of this Derek Lunsford, maybe even beating him. Naturally, I think he has more separation in the hamstrings. You can see that. You can see that. But trust me, Derek is right there with Phil. Thin skin, things of that nature. Look at the glutes. Look at them glutes, mate. But still, separation, uh, you know, it looks, looks nice. Looks nice. Derek very wide, but I do believe Phil has that, as, he, as you guys know, that three-dimensional muscle. A lot of people boast they have three-dimensional muscle, but I think only Phil Heath did. Maybe a couple of other ones, but Phil, namely Phil, you can see it on the pictures. 
So yeah, I, I think that Phil Heath may be defeating Derek Lunsford in the rear lat spread. Now the rear double, I think this is a better shot for Derek. Look how wide he is. Keep in mind, this guy was making Big Rammy look somewhat narrow in these back shots. This guy is a little Tasmanian animal. One of those anti-mules animals. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, but Mark's Max Muscle do 2013 and then we will see the dominance of Dr. Phil Heath. <laughs> you know what? I don't think Phil was as dry, as popcorn farty dry as he was 2017. If you look at the hamstrings, glutes. I mean, 2013 taking nothing away from this Phil Heath. But I think he was better a little bit later on. At least in the back shots anyway, not from the front. So Derek Lunsford, he is very good. I'm not saying he's defeating Dorian Yates and Phil Heath. But I'm not saying he's losing to Dorian Yates and Phil Heath. I mean, he's probably defeating Dorian, if you, if you count the lower half. But Phil, that rear lat spread, he looked some good. But Derek Lunsford holding his own, and I can't think of any other bodybuilders that could do the same against the competition. But now it is time for the, the final boss, so to speak. Big... Lenny. I'm just joking, guys. But Big Lenny, his back was decent. His back was decent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Foolishness. Yeah, buddy. Lightweight. Lightweight. Ronnie the King Coleman. He had the biggest, the most conditioned, ripped back development in the history of bodybuilding. How does Derek Lunsford stack up against the best of the very best well i'll be honest not well not well but nobody would do well against ronnie king coleman actually he's not doing too bad he has an outstanding x frame coleman though these pitchers are actually tilted a little bit thously here's another one and look at the condition of this man and the size as well derek his back is pretty darn good I'll be honest with you, not the clearest shot for Coleman. You know what? To be honest with you, 99, I was surprised. 99, the back of Coleman, maybe at his best. Overall, I mean, 2003, obviously much bigger from the side, things of that nature. But look how peeled, so peeled Coleman was in 99 from the hamstrings, glutes, perspective just as conditioned as Lunsford on a much larger scale and the v-taper pretty good pretty good Derek holding his own on those outer lats some of the best in bodybuilding history what about the rear lat is this a better chance for Derek or a worse one it's not a good angle first of all from the 2003 the picture footage not the best not the best but like I said I'll be honest 99 wow he knocked it out of the park, fullness, his midsection was tiny back then, plus he looked just as big. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, your midsection's smaller, everything else is going to pop, wow. So, of course, guys, Derek Lunsford, may maybe even getting a worse beating than he received in the, the rear double. But let us face it, Derek Lunsford has no shame in losing to Coleman, Phil Heath, Phil Heath looks small compared to Ronnie King Coleman. Condition as well. I mean, Dorian Yates doesn't matter. Even you Dorianites would admit. Well, the picture footage sucks. But, I mean, come on, guys. Come on, Ronnie King Coleman. They don't just throw the name around King very, uh, very easily. I mean, this is a Derek Lunsford back video. And all of a sudden... You think you, as if you were watching a Ronnie King Coleman video. But Derek Lunsford, 2023, Mr. Olympia champion. One of the best backs of all time, guys. There's nobody else you could really throw in this list. You got your Ronnie King Coleman's, your Dorian Yates, your Phil Heath's. And now, by God, we have Derek Lunsford. 
hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Let me know. Did I miss anybody? Art Atwood. Art Atwood, he was massive in the back. I mean, Lee Haney kind of left him out of this one. Looked a little bit too smooth, Monsoon, to be honest with you. A couple other ones there. Franco, smooth city compared to Derek. Anyway, all of them, great backs. Derek, he belongs with them. Have a great one, guys. Well, come on, subscribe to my channel, please, if you have not already. And if you would like to, you know, check out my latest video as well. And there is a playlist if you want to really help me out. You could watch a bunch of videos as well. Have a great one, ladies and gentlemen. Well, come on, Billy!